need something to cut that with or no? Yeah, you got a, you got some wire cutters or something? I think they got some wire cutters there. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hey, so this is Captain Faustino, one of our amazing turtle saviors. He saved our turtle, and you, what'd you name him? The Drifter. The Drifter. And where'd you find him? We found him right next to the intercoastal, and he was listing to the side and didn't look too good. He was waving at us for help. <laughs> so, um, tell me about what you guys did and how you knew that uh, something was wrong. And well, usually the turtles, when we're out fishing or they come, they're around the boat, they usually you know, vacate the area, and this turtle didn't leave. He stuck around and uh, could not actually leave. And also when he was swimming, he was swimming kind of awkward and would come up for real quick breaths and then kind of sink back down. So we kind of knew that he was kind of distressed. And uh, the way we grabbed him so we didn't startle him too much is I had my friend at the front of the boat and I would start from a distance and then cut the engine so that we would pretty much drift into him and behind him and that's how we were able to, to more or less corral him and, and grab him and haul him into the boat. So um, when you got him into the boat, what did you find was wrong with him? Uh, we found all kinds of uh, electrical cables that uh, looked like seismic uh, gear used to, I believe, search for oil or gas out in the bay. Wow, well thank you so much for helping out and calling Sea Turtle Inc and finding and saving this turtle for us. Oh, no problem. We hope to see you around a lot. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> this is Isidro Garcia, one of our sea turtle superheroes, who came and saved a loggerhead named Drifter the other day. Would you like to tell us a little bit about what happened? Yes, uh, well, it happened to be that specific day we were fishing and I noticed uh, something in, in the horizon a little bit and I came to realize that it was a turtle and I noticed that the behavior was not normally what we see. You know, when they do come up and breach, they usually pop their head out and if they see something, they immediately disappear. Well, this one was, its fin was above the water and it was kind of swimming in a 180. And so I told my buddy, who was the captain of the boat, uh, if we could get a little closer, which we did. And we come to realize that the turtle was basically floundering, was swimming upside down and inverted, and he kept doing a 180 to the left. So we called Turtle Inc. Uh, and they, we told them basically what the turtle was doing. And they informed us that that wasn't a normal behavior and that if we could actually catch him, if we could bring him in so they could uh, look at it and see what was wrong. So in that process, uh, it took us a couple of tries to do it, but we eventually were able to get up to it and grab it by its fins, its back fins. And with a little effort, we pulled it into the boat. And immediately upon that, we noticed there was about 200 yards of cable wrapped around its left flipper. So we immediately pulled it all in and we immediately came in as fast as we could possibly could. Called you guys, you guys were waiting there and it was an excellent, exciting event you know, for everybody. And, and it was great. I was just happy to, to do something for that turtle. So, Thank you much. so much. You <laughs> are literally one of the superhero, sea turtle superheroes. Thank you very much. Yeah. Um, my pleasure. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Okay, well, my name is Isidro Garcia. Uh, I'm originally from Brownsville, but I've lived in Port Isabel now for the better part of 17 years. I'm an avid fisherman. I love to fish a lot. Uh, I have my own boat. Um, and. This is not the first time I've actually saved the turtle. I actually saved the turtle in South Bay, which was dragging a bunch of uh, uh, trout lines and basically a couple of uh, crab nets. It was pulling it along in the shallow, so I actually parked my boat, jumped out, and tread through the mud, and actually got my knife and cut away all the rope and the netting, and it basically pulled itself along until it was able to swim in deeper water and get away. So you're like a double superhero. So, yeah, basically. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I've been fishing the bay for a long time so I kind of know what the turtles do more or less without being an expert mind you but uh, I mean I work here on the island and I love living here and I just love the sea life and everything about being here so. great thank you so much thank you